Another definition of folklore is vernacular culture. Vernacular is a big word and it's not very common. Maybe that's one of the good things about it. Vernacular was originally used uh, by linguists who talked about vernacular language. Now back in the days of the Roman Empire and the Greek Empire, uh, there was official Roman or Greek or there were the vernacular languages. That was the languages of the various peoples around the empires. Uh, it's the informal language that was used by the people in, it, in their specific places wherever they lived, relating to the culture that they had. Architects also use that idea of vernacular architecture quite often. So we can talk about uh, elite architecture, such as this beautiful uh, building where the cool folklore center is at the University of Alberta. But vernacular, culture is so, uh, vernacular architecture is something different. Vernacular architecture is any structure made without a blueprint by the people who are actually intending to use that building. Uh, vernacular architecture each time is a little bit different. Each building is special. And folklorists take that idea of vernacular and expand it to all kinds of, of ideas. So we can talk about uh, vernacular music. That's the local music that people actually sing or play uh, in their particular culture. We can talk about vernacular food. We can talk about vernacular recreation. Or we can talk about vernacular anything. So folklore is vernacular culture. <laughs>